Layton, in today's first story, the 2011 Outstanding Tree Farmer of the Year, as named by the Mississippi Forestry Association. The call of forestry found Charles Dismukes of Kilmichael early in his life. He began tree farming at the age of 13 and eventually followed a career that saw him own his own timber company and work to further forestry on a national, state, and county basis. My management plan goes out 15 years now from 2010. I updated it in 2010 and it goes out 15 years from now. Now I have had some kind of a management plan since uh, for at least 60 years. Charles Dismukes and his wife Carolyn live on their 1158 acre registered tree farm northwest of Kilmichael, Mississippi. Mr. Dismukes grew up on the original 105 acres first purchased by his grandfather. Registered in 1959, the tree farm has trees ranging from just planted to more than 60 years. Dismukes has not only tree farmed, he also started the Vaden Timber Company, which his sons Barry and Brian operate today. Dismukes is also a registered forester in Alabama and Mississippi. He works to promote forestry at the local, state, and national levels. One of the quotes he, uh, he told me about is like, those that show up win. You have to be there in order to make things happen. So some just life skills that he is always sharing. Vicki Roberts of Winona is the current president of the Montgomery County Forestry Association. She started participating in the association 10 years ago after her father passed away and the family land was turned into a tree farm. At first glance, Roberts and Dismukes might not appear to have much in common, but she considers him a mentor. We both have something in common. We both love land, and he's a good steward of the land, and his basic principles about life, you know, he's a big giver. I think that people won't, would not find that out from, from him because he doesn't like to talk about that. I have a vision for it, but he actually has the land where I can come and see the trails that he has on his property, the ponds. I can come and see the visual of what I'm trying to do with the goals for our family property also. Roberts likes to read through Dismuke's 4-H youth record book because 4-H is where his forestry career started at age 13. It was in 51 and a new assistant county agent, Mr. Bob Wilson, came into this area and he was real enthusiastic with a 4-H club. Every, every school had a 4-H club in those days. He started to work on, on the kids around here and he looked at my place and he says, uh, Y'all don't farm much, so you need a forestry project. That led to forester Ralph Robertson with the Mississippi State University Extension Service helping the young Dismukes to formulate a tree management plan for 65 acres of his family's land. Field days were held at the property demonstrating proper tree planting and management. Dismukes' interest in forestry grew. He won the Mississippi and National 4-H Forestry Project Awards in 1957. That led to a four-year college scholarship from Homelight Chainsaws. Dismukes graduated with a forestry degree from Mississippi State University in 1961. Even in high school, Dismukes' reputation for forestry knowledge caused him to be called as an expert witness in a court case. When I was 15 years old, I got a subpoena from, from a judge in Monona. And I was subpoenaed as an expert witness in a timber trespass case at 15 years of age. <laughs> and naturally, it, it kind of, it, it was kind of getting to me, but I went over there and I told them what I knew about timber and what I knew about trespassing. And I guess the guy, the guy won his case. And so I guess he was happy. <laughs> Dismukes continued to share his forestry knowledge while he operated his timber buying company. He tried to persuade every landowner he worked with to replant after the harvest. I always had a service if uh, I would make arrangements to get it tree planted and get the TSI with the site preparation work done. Now I didn't pay for it, but if, he, if he'd save enough money to do the paying, I would do all of the work for it, getting it replanted for him. And that still holds the day with my sons. If someone doesn't have a consultant forester of their own, I mean, we've always been, uh, uh, if they wanted to, we'd be willing to advise them on uh, how to go about replanting and who to talk to and 
who to talk to in your extension service and your county foresters, and then they can give them all kinds of advice on that. Julian Watson, the 2009 Mississippi Forestry Association Outstanding Tree Farmer of the Year, is a client of the Dismukes. For more than 10 years, their Vaden Timber Company is the only one he lets thin the trees on his home's county land. People say, well, why don't you get somebody else? I said, well, you know, uh, I'm very loyal. They've been loyal to me, and I'm loyal to them. They do a great job. Dismukes not only logged and tree farmed, he spent a lot of time after hours working on behalf of the forest industry. For example, he's a life member of the Mississippi Forestry Association and MFA's foundation. He served in many MFA roles, being an advocate for Mississippi forestry. In 2008, Dismukes received its highest honor, the Meritorious Service to Forestry Award. His active work to promote the forestry profession saw him declared a fellow of the Society of American Foresters, its highest honor. Locally, Dismukes is a member of three county forestry associations. Charles has been a member of just about every forestry organization I can think of, the Southern Hardwood Group, uh, SAF, MFA. He's a charter member of the Montgomery County Forestry Association and been the president two or three times. He has shared his knowledge with a lot of landowners, both in here in Montgomery County and in Carroll County also. Dismukes has also planted seeds for the future of forestry by donating to the College of Forest Resources at Mississippi State University. He funds a scholarship for an ambassador, a student who recruits other students into the college. What they needed was a, call it the ambassador scholarship. And actually they give the scholarship to students and these students in turn recruit other students for the forestry school. And I thought that was a good thing. My wife thought it was a really good thing too. It was neat for me while I was at Mississippi State. Um, uh, I was an ambassador with the College of Forest Resources and um, I received a uh, scholarship from, from a guy named Charles Desmukes and uh, I knew he was from Vaden and, and was the owner of Vaden Timber Company. And uh, it's really neat now that I'm standing on his farm um, seeing, seeing what all he's done and getting to know him. The Dismukes family operates a multi-use tree farm where timber production, hunting, recreation, and education work together. It's not unusual to see groups ranging from homeschoolers to Boy Scouts on the Dismukes tree farm. This forestry class from Holmes Community College came recently for an opportunity to work in a managed forest. Field days are not uncommon for local landowners. The future looks promising for the Dismukes tree farm. It remains the center of family activity. One grandson is majoring in surveying while the other is majoring in forestry. He likes forestry and he likes wildlife, so he's trying to get that double major into that. So uh, he, can, uh, he just likes being involved and I guess it's in the blood. I tell you, my attitude is that if they told me I wasn't going to live but two more weeks, I'd want to plant some trees before I left. And uh, if we don't do that, future generations won't have it. Well, go to our Farm Week website if you'd like to see this story on Charles Dismukes again. The website is farmweek.msucares.com. You can also find us on Facebook and YouTube. If you're interested in managing your land for timber and wildlife, you can get in touch with the Mississippi State University Extension Service or the Mississippi Forestry Commission. We'll have their contact information on our Farm Week website. Now that story aired originally on our show back in October of 2010. Unfortunately, we have to report that Jeff Crowder, who works for the Forestry Commission, and that story has passed away. And, uh, and since we aired that story, and we uh, anyway extend our condolences to his family.